Hey y'all, this is Steph. How are y'all doing today? Hopefully y'all are having a fabulous day. Thank you so much for coming to watch this video, y'all. Before I get into it, y'all, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications if you are new to me. I am so glad you're here. So this is the last and final installment of my leave-in conditioners that I have in my collection. Part three. I got too many of this part three, but I've tried to shorten it and not have like a ton in each video. Um, to keep it pretty much under 10 minutes. So this is it. But I think, in my opinion, I have saved the best for last. It's some goodies in this bag, y'all. It is some goodies. All these goodies are black owned. Y'all know how I like to do. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first up, we have Obia Naturals Curl Moisture Cream. It says Curl Moisture Cream, but as soon as you read the description, it says, this pH balance leave-in conditioner. It's a leave-in conditioner, even though it says cream right here. This works fabulous as a leave-in. This product does not get talked about that much. Obia Naturals brand pretty much doesn't get um, talked about too, too much, but it's a great brand. It's a wonderful leave-in conditioner. I did a review on this and I will link it in the cards above. But from She Scented, I have their Tropical Coconut and Rice Milk Defining Leave-In. And it says, it's infused with coconut and rice extracts. It's for all hair types. I don't know, I haven't used it yet, y'all, but I need to go ahead and use it. <laughs> also from, uh-oh, y'all, yeah, I'm mixing up the curl origin from the She Scented. Y'all know they look just alike. Okay, from She Scented, the Plum Nectar and Agave Leave-In Styling Hair Yogurt. So it's a leave-in or styler. I'm gonna use it as a leave-in. So yeah, smells like heaven. This smells so it smells so good. It might be their best smelling product that they have. In my opinion, it smells fabulous. Curl Origin, I have their Curl Hydrating Leave-In Conditioner. And this is from their Hibiscus. Well, is it the Hibiscus one? I think this is like their original. I, I don't know, y'all. I got a review on this one. This gave me a bomb wash and go with one of their curling custards or jellies. This is good stuff. Great stuff. But from Coral Origin is the Marula and Quinoa Restorative Leave-In Conditioner. I've not used this yet. I have a wash and go plan to do a video and all that jazz. So I'm looking forward to using this one. Lastly from Coral Origin, I have their Honey and Viscous Leave-In Whipped Cream. Fabulous. Fabulous. This is a fantastic fantastic leave-in conditioner. This is wonderful. Um, I've got a review on this one. Great product. Okay. From She Scented, I have their Triple Butter Apricot and Lippy Softening Milkshake. And it says you can use it as a leave-in conditioner, but I also would think you could use it as a moisturizer. Um, I've used just a little bit of this. I haven't used it on a full wash day, but this is great stuff. We know it. She sent it. Lastly, from She Scented, I have their Cranberry Cream Hair Cocktail. And this was a limited edition holiday edition, so I assume it just comes back around the holidays, maybe, but it is a hydrating leave-in conditioner. I don't know how it works yet, y'all. I haven't used it. These next two, I know how they work because they have been repurchased and repurchased they are bomb. Prada Junkie Natural Child. I think this is my first leave-in conditioner I bought from them years ago. Um, but this is a hibiscus and fenugreek leave-in conditioner. She's been doing Ayurvedic for years now when no one else was really kind of mentioning it. Great product. It says a lightweight leave-in conditioner. Great for everyday use or when you need to layer products. Just what she said on it. This is wonderful. It has a pleasant scent. Great leave-in conditioner. Have used it. Most wolves love it. Another one that I can say the same thing about is the Max Hydration leave-in conditioner from Product Junkie Naturals. Fantastic. It says max hydration. Your hair truly feels hydrated. Okay, another one of Product Junkies that I do not have with me, but it's a fabulous leave-in conditioner. It's their Honey Hydration Leave-In. It, it might be, it's great. And I don't know why I didn't read up on that one. I'm not sure. Maybe it was sold out or something. It is fantastic. But the last one that I have that I've not used yet, y'all, is their rosemary matcha creamy hair milk and let's see i'm trying to think why i put this in the leave-in conditioner do, 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 do. apply milk to hair and section style as desired can be used as a light style for twist and braid outs gives a 
soft and fluffy hoe. I'm using it as a leave-in, and I'm gonna um, talk with some of their like rosemary. I got a gel or I got a buttercream, but that's how I'm going to use it. Okay, guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. I gladly appreciate it. This sums up my leave-in, y'all. This is it. One, two, three parts. This was part three. Thanks again for watching, y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all on my next video. Bye.